Hey everyone, it's Taylor from Kinpatsu Cosplay here. Today we're going to show you guys how to make an EVA foam braceplate. Again, for the third time. Now, I know I've already made two versions of this video, but the first one was super awkward, and the second one I didn't exclusively use foam and I didn't show all the steps. But now this is it. This is the ultimate foam braceplate tutorial. We're going to show you guys how to make the best booby armor you can from start to finish. This video is also going to celebrate the release of our new armor making book. The book is all about armor construction. It's 56 pages long with hundreds of step-by-step -step photos and tons of examples. So if you want to learn more about making armor yourself and support our work, please check it out at kimpatsucosplay.com. Now let's get to the video. But as always, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. To make a braceplate, you will first need to create a pattern. For this, you will need tape, cling wrap, a pin, and scissors. We have a breastplate pattern set available at kimpatsucosplay.com for you to make your own armor. Make sure you are wearing the same bra or undergarments you will wear for your cosplay. Wrap the plastic around yourself where the armor will be. Don't pull this too tight. Then tear off strips of tape and lay them onto the plastic to form your breastplate. Don't pull the tape too tight or it will make the breastplate pattern too small. You may need a friend to help you at the back. Once everything is covered in tape, you can move to the next step. Take a marker and draw on the design for your armor piece. Draw on registration marks to help put the pieces back together later. You will need to put seam lines or darts where there are large curves to help them lay flat. When you are happy with your design, you can carefully cut yourself out of the tape. Now you have a tape mold of your armor. Cut out the pieces with scissors. Now your pattern should lay flat. You can make more adjustments now if you need to and trace this onto paper to make a neat final version. Now that the pattern is done, we can move on to the construction. We'll show you guys how to use your pattern to create the base shapes and forms for your breastplate. Now to build the breastplate. For this, you will need EVA foam. For the Alexstrasza breastplate, we're using this cool dragon scale foam sponsored by Cosplay Fabrics, but you can use any 5mm EVA foam as well. Trace your pattern pieces onto the foam. Mark all the registration lines as well. Mirror your pattern for the other side so they are both symmetrical. Then you can cut out the pieces with a sharp crafting knife. For the holes where the booby cups will go, cut at a 45 degree angle. This creates a beveled edge which will help you glue the pieces together later. Once all the pieces are cut out, they should look like this. Two booby cups and two pieces for the base of the breastplate. EVA foam can be heat formed and shaped with a heat gun. To start forming the cups into shape, heat up the surface a bit. Then press them over a round object like a plastic sphere or a ball. Shaping the pieces before helps with construction and makes it a bit easier. Now you can glue the pieces together with contact adhesive. This is the best glue for foam. Apply the glue to both edges you will be joining. Let the glue dry a bit and get tacky. Then you can press the pieces together and they will bond instantly. Glue together the darts on both of the cups. Then you can glue the cups into the breastplate base. Make sure that you line up the registration marks as you glue these into place. Now your breastplate is built and you can start adding details. Now that you have the basic shape of your armor, it's time to have fun with some detailing. This is really going to take the piece to the next level and make it a lot more interesting. Make a pattern for your details by laying pieces of paper tape onto the breastplate. Then you can use a pen to draw onto this. Use your tape pattern to trace onto 2mm EVA foam. Cut out the pieces with a craft knife. Glue these pieces together at the center with contact adhesive. Then you can use more glue to attach this to your breastplate. For rivets on the breastplate, you can use googly eyes. For this Alexstrasza breastplate, I also had to cut out additional strips of 5mm EVA foam to go at the bottom. I used more contact adhesive to glue these along the bottom edge of the breastplate. 
I'm also using some Yaya Han pre-made foam bevels to glue around the edges. Carefully line up the bevel strips and stick them into place. When you get to a corner, you can cut them with scissors. Cut your next piece to match the angle. Then you can connect them with more glue and continue to lay them around the edges. For the swirls in the center of the breastplate, you can trim the bevel strips into points. Then apply them to the breastplate with more contact adhesive. To add additional texture to the breastplate and some battle damage, use a soldering iron to burn the foam. Create small scratches, nicks and dots all over. Burning foam with a soldering iron is very toxic, so make sure you do this in a ventilated area, outside and away from your pets and other people. I also recommend wearing a respirator. Now that everything is built, it's time for my favorite part of the process, which is priming and painting. This is going to take your foam from looking like a piece of foam to looking like an actual piece of metal, and it is so much fun to do. So let's get to the painting. The final step is priming and painting. To prime this, I'm using Hexflex, which was sent to us from Red Moon Cosplay. Paint on a few layers, letting each one dry in between. This will remove the foam texture, but keep the foam flexible. Painting on a base coat for gold and silver armor is important because the color shows through the metallic paint. This is a great base for the gold edges because it's a nice warm color. To get the final gold color, I used Createx Auto Air Gold Plating Airbrush Paint. I used my airbrush to spray all around the gold sections. Then I painted the red sections by hand with acrylic paint. When painting with acrylic paint, you will need to apply many thin layers to get a nice smooth finish. Sometimes painting by hand is better than airbrushing and spray paints. In this case, it was much easier for me to neatly paint this breastplate by hand instead of having to mask all the gold edges to be able to spray. I also added some additional shading with oil paints. Mix the oil paint with a quick drying agent and paint all over the breastplate to create an oil wash. When doing an oil wash, make sure you get into all the cracks and details. Then you can use a cloth or paper towel to wipe away the excess paint on the surface. The black paint will remain behind in all the detail lines and bring out the textures. You can also add some highlights to make everything pop. I used a light red to paint over the surface of the scales. I also used white paint to go around the edges of the scales with hard, crisp lines. Everything is then sealed with a clear varnish. I used Duraclear Satin Craft Varnish for this. The last step is to attach the breastplate. So now that you have your finished breastplate, it's time to show you guys how to actually wear it. So we're going to show you how to add some straps and stuff so that you can actually put this on and have it be a functional piece of armor. To attach the breastplate at the back, you can use a corset method. Create small holes using a hole punch here. Glue in some eyelets at the back. Then you can lace this up with leather cord. You will also need straps to keep the breastplate up. This is not accurate, but it can be hidden by the character's hair. I made these straps from EVA foam and fabric. Glue the straps to the back of the breastplate in a crisscross formation. You can then glue a piece of Velcro to the other end and the matching piece inside the breastplate cup. Now the breastplate can slip over your head. Then you can attach the straps into place on the cups. Lace up at the back. And now you're ready for battle. Thanks to our patrons for supporting this video. Our Patreon supporters are a big part of the reason that we're able to keep making tutorials, books, and videos for you guys to help you make great costumes. We're so thankful to every single one of you. It really means a lot that you've supported us over the years. If you want to get your name featured in our next tutorial, you can join us on Patreon and help support us in making more tutorials like this. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and maybe this will be the last time I remake it. Or maybe not. And again, if you want to learn more about making armor, please check out our new tutorial book. We'll see you guys again soon. Bye for now.